Hello and welcome to tutorial number four in the LGZ tutorial series for the Just a Replay device. In this last tutorial, I will show you the most advanced features of the Just Replay device, simply how to create clips, playlists, and create nice looking highlights out of them. So let's see what we have here. I'm now live in my data. Let's see if we can find some action on for which I can create a clip. Do we have we have for example a simple pass here, a pass across the ice. Let's create a clip out of this pass. I'm now jogging. I'm selecting this as my program out and I want to set an in point about here. For that I press in. I can now see a mark in on my timeline. I can see the clip growing and I can set a mark out after the pass right here. I now have a mark in and a mark out. I can now press log on my controller to create the clip. The clip is then sent as you can see to this down left window here. This is my clip overview. All clips will be shown down here. Let's name this clip to pass number one. We do recommend strongly to name your clips to keep a good workflow. Let's go live again and see if we find something else to create a clip on. Okay, he just shot here. Let's use this and let's use angle number two for this shot. The player started about here. I set an in point, an out point after the shot and I log the clip. Let's call it shot on goal. There we go. Let's try to clip a third clip just to give you a better look at how this can be done. Okay, is there anything happening? We can use the shuttle to go back a bit further, see if we missed any other interesting action. This was the same shot previously recorded. Here we have some box play and I'll just back jump back to the live. And there we have a second shot try. Okay, let's go back and see this one, maybe from angle number three. All right. Let's set an in point right about here and an out point right about here. Call it shot on goal number two. I now have three clips here and before for example, an ice hockey game we recommend before your production to create playlists that you know you will use. This is done by creating by pressing the add list button next to your lever. By pressing one, I now create one list. Let's call this list, for example, highlights period one. Let's create a second list. We can call this one goals period one. We can create, and, and like this, you can create basically as many lists as you want. Yeah, there is no limit, and we do recommend to name them properly. And usually, I use myself between six and seven lists in a simple ice hockey or football game, uh, creating highlights for the different periods and goals, and maybe some other clips lists. Now that I have three lists, maybe I can go back to this pre first clip overview. Select, for example, clip number zero over here, the one. And by pressing send clip on my controller, it's located in the upper right corner. I will now send this clip into the list other clips list, my list number two, as you can see down here. This list now has one clip in it. If I go back here and select the second clip and press send clip, it will be sent in there as well and the third clip send clip i can send this clip several times if i press send clip again and i have the same clip a, a second time in my list maybe i want to select another list here and send this clip for example clip number one three times into this list so as you can see here my list number zero has three clips in it my list number one has zero clips in it and my list number two has four clips in it and i can see what each clips each list has in the right most window here so let's select for example the last list and go here this is where i know we'll be able to create good looking 
highlights and playlist. Basically, this is my clip overview. Every clip I cl create will end up here at the bottom and I will name it. Here I have all my lists and I can select one to send a clip into this list. And here I have the selected list. And in this list, I can work with the clips. For example, I maybe want to go to this clip. I select it, I press go to. I now end up at the beginning of this clip. Maybe I now realize that I actually want the in point of this clip to be edited a bit before I actually created it. So let's press shift in. This will edit, as you can see on the timeline, the in point is now moved. On the timeline, I have two rows. The upper row shows all the clips I have in my active playlist and the second row shows the clips I have in my clip overview list. So I can see the original clip still has its in point here, while the clip in my active playlist, which is a copy of the original, has an edited in point. Let's put it back here even. There we go. I can also, this clip is still selected, I can for example move this clip up. Maybe I want this clip to be the first clip to play. You can see here how the clip is moving down and up. Let's put it back at the bottom. I can, by pressing set input, change which input this clip will play from. As you can see, it goes from 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3. So if I, for example, select 2, this clip will, when played as a playlist, play out from input number 2. The set go to next can be pressed and this will set the go to next setting. The go to next setting in a playlist simply decides if when this clip is played it will go to the next clip or not for example if i now have all my clips as go to next and i load this list loading a list is done by pressing shift and go to i can now see that this list is loaded it is red it has jumped to the first frame if i start playing this list it is written as you can see here loop this means that this list will loop forever because all clips are set to go to next so each time it reaches the end of a clip here you will see that it will mix to the next clip and that is because the transition of each of its clip is set to mix so for example if I now can't stop playing this list and exit the playing mode here I can select any of these clips for example this one I go to the beginning of it I can see okay this will be my clip Maybe I want the transition not to be mixed. I want this clip to continue playing, but I want the transition to be cut. And let's maybe make the list so that it does not continue playing when it has reached the last clip. Now that I have removed go to next on the red last clip, I can see the post roll setting appearing here, which is by default on, can be set to off as well. So if I set post roll off and now load this list again, shift go to, if I play this list, you will first see that it will go to the next clip here with a mix. It will, after this clip number two, cut to the next clip. After this clip number three, it will mix to the last and fourth clip. And when it reaches the end of the fourth clip, since post roll is set to off, it will simply stop on a freeze frame. So let's start playing, see how this happens. First clip, which will now mix to the second clip, which will again which will now cut to the third clip and which will again mix now to the fourth clip and it will now end on a freeze frame at the end of the clip there we go so if i had set the post roll setting to on and again played this whole list shift go to it will have continued playing at the end with the post roll giving for example your producer a chance to mix in from another input so working with these settings and buttons, I can create simply simple lists and control basically every aspect of this list. And, and here I can still select other lists. So for example, if we go back here and start playing this list, let's put it to loop by the way, go to next, I load it again and I loop it. I can still go in here and while the, it, the playlist is playing out and basically working, I can 
look at my other lists and maybe look at clips I have saved here previously and maybe send them into my lists here and work on these other lists I have. Maybe move this clip up, maybe change the input setting, maybe change the mix setting, maybe set remove the go to next on this one, rename the clip, edit the in and out points. I can basically work with other lists while my list as you can see here is still playing out. If I go back here and select it again I can see yes here it is still playing out. So you can do a lot with these simple settings and uh, basically that is all the basics you need to know to create good looking and professional looking highlights. So good luck and let us know if there is more you'd like to know. You can always send us an email or simply calls. Thank you for watching.